Welcome back to the channel everyone and welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K20 My Career Mode and we have just learned that someone has actually brought back the Divas Championship. Red was interested in it but someone brought it back. Make sure you click that like button and that subscribe button if you join the content so far and let's get straight to it. I really don't need to hear I told you so right now. All you're gonna hear from me is I hope you're okay. I'll be alright. Oh, she's nice. I just feel so stupid. You're not stupid. You're trusting and a good person. That's true. I am a great That's person. That's what separates you from people like her. Like, I appreciate it, but I still can't believe I let my guard down like that. You were right. I can. About everything. We'll make her pay for this. I promise. <sighs> Me too. We're gonna definitely make her pay for that. Welcome to SmackDown Ooh, what is this? Live, where hopefully we're about to get some sort of clarification from Brooklyn Von Braun on last week's shocking turn of events. I wouldn't say that's that shocking. I am that a shocker. big fan of movies. Oh. Mostly the ones I've starred in, but there are some other ones that are okay too. But in any film, my favorite part is always near the end when the villain explains their big evil plan going over every single detail of how they pulled the wool over the stupid idiot hero's eyes. Wow. But in movies, this usually allows the hero time to escape or stop the bad guy in some way. But I'm not going to be stopped. See, I already destroyed your idiot hero last week with the help of Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe. So now... I have all the time in the world to walk you through every single detail of my brilliant scheme. Like I said, it wasn't that brilliant, this but is go my on. favorite part. So here we go. When I was GM, I brought Samoa Joe back fully knowing what his plans were for attacking Trey in the best of five final and costing Red her title. Okay. In fact, I helped make those plans myself. Then, I gave Trey a title match against Adam Cole just so Joe could eventually take it from Trey. Sorry, Adam. After that, Poor I Adam. inserted myself into the mixed match challenge as Trey's partner to earn his trust, giving me the opportunity to teach him the secret Coquina Clutch escape. Secret. Only when Joe got it on Trey and he thought he had it all under control, those ankles weren't crossed, were they? Because it wasn't a secret anymore. I told Joe exactly what to expect, and Trey never had a chance. <laughs> Stupid fake, Rhonda. Now, unfortunately, to make Trey and Red think I had changed for the better, I did have to donate a bunch of money to an animal shelter. But don't worry. I purchased the shelter, kicked out all the disgusting animals, and I'm turning it wow. into the newest location for my tanning salon chain, wow. Brooklyn Von Brown. Which, wow, you what me, a bitch, is a bro. Lot more to serve the community. So right about now, your tiny brains are probably asking, but why, Brooklyn? Why, Brooklyn? Why would you do all of this? Because you're a I bitch. I did this to maintain the hierarchy. To show Red and Trey that despite what they think they've achieved in WWE, WWE. I'm the star and they're the losers. Just like it's always been. And that will never change. Anyway, I've spent way too much time talking about those rejects, so Damn. let's discuss what's next for the American hero. New trademark lawsuit pending. Well, I have some big news to share. I'm a champion. You see, what? I recently talked to WWE management about bringing back a title from the past, and they agreed I was the perfect superstar to award it to. So I'd like to present to you your new WWE Divas Champion, me! You've got to be kidding me. I guess this explains why I was told to inform Red that the Divas Championship was already spoken for. I mean... Why? How, how does she know? How does she know? You know, maybe in the future, Trey, you should be a little more careful about who sees your phone. Okay, that explains it. You never know what they could find on there. Like maybe even a copy of a list outlining all their friends' dreams and ambitions. Wow. Clearly Look how pissed Red is, though. Well, she should be mad at her friend Trey for letting all this happen. That's true. Let 
Let's go, right now, you and me. I'm a prize fighter, and considering I've got the prize, I decide when I fight, so run along. Maybe there's something else you can cross off your list, like find someone who will take me out on a date, or fix my jacked up teeth. Those are real things on her list. I saw it. I'm coming for you. Why don't she ask Trey for a date? All this money she's won from WWE, she could have fixed her teeth. No! Oh God! Right on the head! No! He's beating the shit out of us with the belt. You wanted this? Well, now you got it. Thankfully, Trey is here to. Oh, here we go! Oh God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Yo, he just yeeted me. Yo, that was wild. That was fucking wild. Wow. He just completely yeeted me. Oh! Oh, God! He suffered enough. No. Come on, don't do it. Not this way. No. Rock bottom. Trey might be seriously injured. This, it's not the rock bottom, I know, but we're going to say it is. While Trey's condition's unclear, one thing is the duo of Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe will annihilate anyone who attempts to get in their way. Y'all ain't slick, man. I'm going to get that belt back. Oh God, I'm dead. So what's the verdict? Nothing too serious. I'll just be out a couple weeks. You're lucky. That could have ended your career. It would take a much worse attack than that to end my career. I know, man. Or being offered the hosting gig on America's Next Top Hand Model, which is the best show on TV, hands down. See, I'm a natural. So, are you mad that Brooklyn saw the list on my phone? Should be. I was, but I think I'm over it, considering you almost got snapped in half trying to help me. Besides, I just found out next week I have a number one contenders match for the Divas Championship. Alright, so we're going somewhere. So I'm still going to cross it off the list. Good. At least one of us will be in the title picture. What do you mean? Aren't you going to use your rematch clause when you heal up? I would if I had one. Turns out one of the other loose ends Brooklyn took care of before she stepped down as GM was removing the rematch clause. Wow, from the this bitch. So if I want another shot at Samoa Joe, I'm going to have to earn it just like anyone else. Wow. I know you can do it. But first, you need to focus on getting better. I guess it's just like on America's Next Top Hand Model when Andrea jammed her finger playing volleyball and lost <laughs> the Christmas engagement ring campaign. Wait a minute. It took a lot of hard work and moisturizing, but in a couple months her hand was back in top form and she booked the Valentine's Day spot, which was way bigger than the Christmas gig. I must have missed that episode. I can get you a copy. I have every one of them saved. I think I got the gist of it. Your loss. <laughs> Wait, what? Anyway, we're here back to our number one contender match, which would be Red while taking on Dakota Kai. Nia Jax and the Bowles, Sasha Banks. So let's see. Oh my god, she smacked me. Here we go. One. No! Here we go. You're gonna fight me, bro. You ain't gonna do nothing to me. Nothing. Here we go, DDT. If she can win this match and then defeat Brooklyn Von Braun. And then we're gonna have to do a little, little power bomb. Oh, what? No. Nope. Thought she was gonna pin there, but I guess not. We can we can do this though. We can we can take her down. We can definitely beat her ass. Alright, Nia Jax is in here. She's trying to beat her ass, but it's not gonna happen. Get big Nia. No Nia, not this way. Oh, missed. Didn't miss that one, though. Stay down. Get back up. Dakota Kai. Give me your arm, Dakota Kai. Done. We have to win this match to face um, Brooklyn Von Braun. God damn it. 
Here we go, Raven Claw. Oh man, into the neck breaker. The cow, no, no, she got me. Ah. Cover. Come on, Raf. One, two, three. Yes, number one contender for the Divas Championship, baby. We did it. That's right. Look at that. We did it. We are the number one contender, and there's nothing anyone can stop us. Ready to step away. Ready to let them know that I'm the best. Enjoy this match as well. Thank you so much for everybody that passed by. Make sure you click that like button and that subscribe button. We are on the road to another 1,000K subscribers. And I'll see you guys next time.